Howdy partner. So you want to learn how to clean a pool sand filter? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to walk you through how to clean a pool sand filter, how to backwash it, and how to get it up and running again. This is part of our pool series. If you haven't already, please go to the bottom right and hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate the subscribers, appreciate the likes and comments, but go ahead and subscribe to content. You'll check out more pool videos where we go over all sorts of tips and tricks for the pool. So to start with a sand filter, this is a Triton 2. This is a big sand filter. And basically you're going to have a pressure gauge on all filters. And when you get that pressure gauge, starts reading a little high, then you're going to know that it's time to backwash and clean out the sand that's in there. The sand traps the particles of dirt as they go through your system. And when it's a little bit dirty, it actually does a really, a really good job, probably a little better than being completely clean and fresh. So what we want to do is we want to get almost completely clean. And we do that whenever the pressure raises up a little bit. So, first thing you need to do is you turn off your filter, which ours already are off. You're going to release the pressure. You hear the hiss. You're going to go over and you're going to take out your, your pool strainer basket. And you're just going to go ahead and make sure that that's nice and clean. You can rinse it out with a hose. Once you do that, you're going to go on back over. Close that up. I'm going to close up that for now. And then you're gonna go over to your backwash valve. So inside the backwash valve, you have a spider gasket that looks something like this. And basically, as you turn this bar, you can go to waste or closed or backwash, rinse, all that stuff. For this purpose of cleaning this, we're only gonna use backwash, rinse, and filter. Now, it depends on what people say, but generally speaking, I like to only move in one direction. So when I turn it, I pretty much hit the steps in a clockwise motion. The reason why is because when this gets old, this is an older one, and you're going across it, it can start to pull up or get ripped. And then you're gonna have the water's gonna cycle from, you know, you're gonna be on filter and it's gonna be leaking out your waste thing or something else. And you need to take this off and replace this uh, gasket. So rather than moving back and forth and back and forth while you're doing this, I like to just work in one motion, but it's really up to you either way. So that being said, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and lift this up and we're gonna move this over to backwash, which is right here. Once it's in backwash, we're gonna turn the filter back on. We'll let it start to run. And if you want to, you can bleed the system out a little bit just to get the air out if you had it open while you're cleaning the basket out. So you're gonna notice that the water is really cloudy up here. It's really dirty, and that's right. The other thing you're looking at is right here, you have on some of them, this is a viewport. So this is showing the dirty water is coming out here and it's going through and it's being flushed out the system. So this is draining from your pool right now. Now on my pool, I know that I run this for about two to two and a half minutes. And then once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and stop it and go on to the next step. So stay tuned. All right, well, it's been just about two minutes now. It's not necessarily an amount of time. What you want, you want the water out of here to become clear. So you see now it was really dirty before. Now it's pretty much clear. So then what you wanna do is you wanna turn off your pump. Sorry about this leaf in my way. You turn the pump off. Once you turn it off, you're gonna move from backwash to rinse. Pretty simple. So you move from backwash to rinse. Then you're gonna turn it back on at rinse. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna help the sand sediment to settle back down. You shouldn't be shooting anything out of the out of the uh, waste hose anymore. So I like to run rinse personally for about three to four minutes. Um, you know, it's trial and error to figure out what's right for you. But also while it's running, I'm gonna go out and I always check my waistline to make sure no water is coming out of it anymore. Because this is pumping a lot of water out of the pool. And if you have a failure of your gasket there, you'll start shooting it out. So see you in about three minutes. All right, well, it's been about three minutes now. So I'll go ahead and there's a little more air in there again. But if I let the air out, you'll see we're crystal clear now. So you want to go ahead and turn the pump off again. Don't ever try to move this with the pump running. So once you turn that off, then you're gonna go over to the filter and you're gonna move it back to the filter spot. 
So make sure it's well seated. Then you're gonna go ahead and turn this back on. I always watch this little, if you do have the, the, uh, view, the viewport, I always check that, make sure there's no water running out. And then you're just gonna let the air out of your system. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is done. We have a clean sand filter. We've dropped about 10 PSI on the pressure, and we should be good for a little while. So appreciate you tuning in. A couple things to keep in mind. It's good to do this after it rains or any other time because you are gonna lose a little bit of water. It's probably the only thing I don't like about sand filters is you have to pump out a little bit of water. You also, if you have a saltwater pool like we do, you're gonna go ahead and lose a little bit of salt because you just flush some out. So you may have to add a little bit of salt every couple of times that you flush a sand filter. But this big Triton too is almost commercial grade and it takes quite a while, a few months before I have to flush it again. So really easy, hope you appreciate this. If you do hit the subscribe button, I really, I really appreciate that. Likes, comments, any questions you've got, keep tuning in the pool series. Remember, if I can do this, you can too. Thanks for watching.